Hello everybody! So, plot twist. Turns out I'm not dead after all. I know you're disappointed. So it's been a thousand years since I've done a video, and um, since it's such a beautiful day outside, I decided to do it out here. Um, I have two tips for you guys though. Um, always apply sunscreen because, you know, sun can be very damaging to your skin. And you want to make sure you stay hydrated. Um, that's why I got my pink champagne because I'm a basic white bitch, but I'm staying hydrated. Today we are going to talk about the movie When Blackbirds Fly by Jimmy Screamclaws. If you're not familiar with him, he is the same guy who did Where the Dead Go to Die. So you know this shit's going to be some trippy ass shit. Jimmy is so awesome. Like, he's actually my baby's daddy, um, but he has custody of the kids right now because, you know, frat houses aren't going to run trains on themselves. So I got, you know, a duty to fulfill out there. But seriously, it's so fun talking to him. If you ever get the chance to meet him or, you know, just kind of chat with him, definitely take advantage of that because he is hilarious. He is so off the wall. It's like, he never gets boring, in my opinion. <laughs> Because a couple years ago, we actually went to a horror convention together, and I had a blast. Like, I, I definitely hope he and I can hang out again soon, because I just had so much fun, you know, hanging around the table, helping sell shit, and just, you know, being able to interact with Jimmy. It was so fun. Jimmy, if you want to hang out again soon, bitch, bitch. Oh, we, need to, we need to play Thrill Kill together. Remember? Remember we said we're going to beat each other's ass at Thrill Kill? We need to do that. When Blackbirds Flies is about a utopia called Heaven. Heaven has a god, a leader, called Cain, and he actually like has images of himself all over the town demanding that they love him and listen to his commands. It's, it has a very like big brother, maybe like North Korea feel to it in my opinion because it's like a, like a big brother always watching, leader knows everything type um, atmosphere. Another character that is mentioned um, is a person called the Evil One. Uh, according to Cain, he banished the evil one from heaven, and so she couldn't get back over to heaven. Her and her minions couldn't get back into heaven. He built a huge ass wall that surrounds the town, and it's under constant surveillance. It's completely forbidden to be around in any sense. Our story starts with a young kid called Marius. He's a little bit confused why everyone has to have this undying obsessive love and idolization for Cain. And what always makes me laugh is like, their parent, his parents' logic of why you need to worship Cain. It, to me, it was very akin to um, how Christians are now with cults. Why do we gotta do it like this? That makes no sense. Wh wh why are things like this? Because fuck you, that's why. Now shut the fuck up and keep worshiping. Marius develops a obsession for blackbirds and um, begins following them whenever they fly in a flock somewhere. Eventually, the birds lead him and his friend Eden to the Forbidden Wall. And when they're at this wall, they hear a really soft, weak voice asking for help. And they see a hole in the wall, and in the distance they see a, a cat saying that she's injured and she needs someone to come save her. The kids are freaking out because, you know, the one big rule in heaven is never venture past the wall. But they do eventually, you know, venture past the wall because they want to save the cat. Once they are on the other side, they are offered forbidden fruit. And the moment they take a bite of it is when shit goes insane. It's kind of like the Adam and Eve thing where, you know, like, Eve ate the apple, but like way more trippy, like more of an acid trip type effect. I don't even want to imagine what watching this on acid or shrooms is like. I, I'd be fucked up. I don't want to give out too many details because I want you to go fucking watch it on your own. But it is so, like I said, it's Jimmy, so you know it's going to be wacky, trippy, uh, funny as fuck in a weird way, so, you know, if you're into that type of shit, you're gonna love this movie. I love films that have, like, the, um, the religious or cult type to them, where, you know, they're kind of taking the piss out of, like, cults and religion and stuff like that. I love that shit. I love that shit. It definitely has, like, in some scenes, has, like, the very, like, twisted Bible type story, where it's kind of, you know, making a mockery of Christianity and all the bizarre, dumbass fucking stories they have. I, actually, did a voice in this movie. It was a small part, but the fact that I was even asked to do it at all just makes my heart so happy because I think my voice is annoying as fuck. So the fact that someone would want my voice in their project is just flat out amazing. Not only did I do a voice in it, but my scene was shared by my absolute most favorite YouTuber in the whole fucking world, Tanner. He's hilarious. He always has like these crazy 
movies, videos that he finds, and it's just amazing because I, I just love his sense of humor and just his wit. I love it. I wish I was that funny. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to Tanner or have watched his videos yet, for starters, you've brought dishonor on this family. Two, delete my number and never talk to me again. And three, go check his channel out because I'm going to put the link down in the description. I personally like this one better than um, When the Dead Go to Die because I feel as though it is still able to keep like a concrete like storyline but doesn't skimp out on like the, the crazy, bizarre, trippy, psychedelic horror that Jimmy is known for. So I okay, hope you guys liked that video. I know I'm like really rusty with reviewing so I, I seriously fucking need to get back and doing it again. Um, I'm, I'm really going to try and start making content again. I think I'm going to, because I haven't stopped like watching or reading um, horror related things. It's just I felt like I kind of like got burnt out on the community, you know, from a few years ago. And I, I don't know, I felt just kind of like burnt out because I felt like there was a lot of um, toxicity going around, which, you know, you find in every fandom, but I just wasn't about it. And I just kind of removed myself a bit from the community, but I, I miss interacting with, you know, fellow fans and, you know, getting to meet other people, experience the- oh, that's a fucking bug, sorry. <laughs> Why did I come outside? I really miss interacting with, you know, fun people and getting to learn um, their recommendations and giving my own recommendations for shit, you know, have a dialogue with other fans. I really have begun to miss that, so I, I want to start getting back into posting um, more frequently. I'm going to try my hardest to start making a video every two weeks. So, because I, I, like I said, I've still been, you know, indulging in horror media, I just haven't done reviews on it. So, I'm going to start trying to have a bi-weekly schedule because I do miss being on here and, you know, I missed you hoes. I hope you enjoyed the video, bitches, and I will see you next time. Ah.